Welcome back, Football HQ with Coach K. I'm Coach Jonathan Keithley, head football coach in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Uh, my fifth year is upcoming as a football coach, uh, the year tw- head football coach in the year 2021. Um, I've been offensive coordinator now for nine years, and again, I'm entering my fifth year as a head coach. Um, I'm far from knowing it all. I- I'm always learning, getting on YouTube channels like this one, and other people's, and Twitter discussion groups, and clinics, and um, all kinds of online things. Whatever I can find, I'm eating up. So I just want to be a part of that and give back a little bit and share some things that I've found. That's what that channel, this channel is for. So today, we're going to talk more about the Oklahoma offense. And you're going to see that my channel is very, very heavily geared towards that. And that's because I live um, about a half an hour away from Norman, Oklahoma, and I study Lincoln Riley very closely. Even though I'm a diehard Oklahoma State fan and uh, go Pokes, I do still... Um, admire and and like to study the Oklahoma offense as well as the Oklahoma State offense. So we're going to look at a particular game from 2018 uh, when Oklahoma played Kansas State and they scored 41 points in that half and they were just very, very, very efficient. In fact, you'll see the only time they stopped themselves is when they stopped themselves. Um, So we're going to go through a a couple drives of theirs. I've got the whole um, playbook drawn up in an ebook. My first one, instructions for how to get that are below if you want to see that. I um, would love for you to take a look at it. Um, so for all those instructions in the description, I do want to give a very important caution. Um, it's great to study the greats. If you're a high school coach, study the great college coaches. Um, but realize that you know there's some things that they do that we can't, I, me as a high school coach. So find some things that you can use, some things that match what you already do. That's one thing. I'm a trips and doubles um, offensive coach. We do have a tight end. Um, we do use some two backs. So really everything that we do matches what Oklahoma does. Oklahoma does a little bit of everything, which um, is very simple, though, the way they do it. And I think you'll see that as you watch this first half. So let's go to that now, the first half of Oklahoma against Kansas State 2018. So actually, we went over the first drive kind of from a quarterback's perspective. So I'm going to try to put a card for you to go to if you want to see that. The whole first half playbook, again, is on my ebook in the description. Um, But we're going to start with the second drive and go through um, a series of plays that they run. And I'll always start by showing the the drawn up play first. So let's do that. Oklahoma is going to come out just in a trips left look and the X's and the H's and the Y's and the Z's. That's how my team runs it. I have no idea what Oklahoma gives for letters for their, for their players. So, um, you know, I can't really speak to that. Those are just how my offense looks. I have drawn up the Kansas state defense pretty much exactly as they were lined up. Um, so Oklahoma's going to come out and run their version of stick. All right. It's a little bit different than some teams, but I just call it Y stick. And, um, I want to point out here that most of the time Oklahoma is going to use a half slide protection. So pretty simple. And I actually have a video about that as well. Um, simple, um, the secrets of simple pass protection. So check that out as well. All kinds of advertising for the site today. But um, Oklahoma is going to run stick. So let's see how it goes. So notice it's first and 10 from the uh, t- 26 yard line. Um, I mentioned in, in the previous video as well, this is the all 22 view. Okay, this is like their game film. This is not the TV version. So it's a little wider. You don't see some of the details if you're watching as a fan, but you get the whole field view. So and you see at the last second, they, um, they shift their running back. And we're again, we're running stick right here. And I think pre-snap, Kyler is already looking to the fact that he has got a soft, he's got a seven man, a seven yard cushion on his stick route. So let's see, let's see what he decides to do. He's looking at the defense. And you see, he knows immediately what he's doing, okay? He doesn't even think about it. That's a pre-snap read. He made it. Um, but again, so an easy, uh, looks like six yard completion, um, pre-snap read, stick is a thing you should have in your playbook. Now let's look at the end zone view. Um, the protection, again, we're gonna see the ha- half slide protection um, right there. Murray shifted him over perhaps to uh, have window to throw or because he wanted or he wanted this wheel over here. Let's. But either way, actually, it's the half slide to the left. I stand corrected there. They Oklahoma slid to the left with a man on the right, which is very fine. That could have been a call by the by the center. 
Murray gets it out. Easy completion. Good, good yards on first down. Stick is a great call on first down. Now, Oklahoma's on, on the left hash, and they're going to come out and run the same play, kind of. They're going to get a bunch formation into the boundary, and they're, it's going to be the same look over here as they run a, a bunched-up version of Stick. But over here, it's a little bit different, all right? We'll see, and we'll see what happens here. This is um, first down was definitely to set up second down. Okay, Oklahoma, Oklahoma makes a quick substitution, and they bring out number four, Trey Sermon, who now plays for Ohio State, if you're watching this in 2021. Um, but they, they brought in a, a receiver type, kind of snuck him in there into the backfield. So it looks like it's the same play, to the again, to the boundary here, stick. But Murray's going to throw a lateral pass, and it's, a, and it's a double pass to the receiver who is wide open, and they just overthrew it. But that, again, that's just great game planning again. Um, notice how it's important to note that Murray steps up in the pocket, all right, to be to ensure the lateral. All right, he knows what he's doing. He's very patient. He didn't just turn and throw it. It's a bit of a mess right here. He's got to let number eighty-three get out. He throws it to him. Eighty-three's got plenty of space. Makes a pretty good throw, really. I mean, a deep throw just out of his reach. And oftentimes, I tell you know guys throwing the double pass, just he's probably going to be wide open. It's okay to underthrow it with some air. Okay, now we've got third and four. All right, so a pretty important play coming up here for Oklahoma. So when you get home, it should be working. Bye-bye. So third down. And one thing I like about Riley as you study him, he doesn't always just call a play to the sticks. And now here he does have the outside hitch or stick route from the Z. But sometimes he, you know, defenses, you know, are, are thinking about that. You know, they're smart. So he, he usually throws them past the stick. So right here, got kind of a, a climb route with a deep curl, a vertical, and, and a stick. I'm sure if he is given this pre-snap, he will throw it. And I'm sure if he likes this, this little uh, running back out, he will throw it. Let's see what he does. Okay, third and four. Kind of a big early play here as the receiver goes out to the right. You've got your trips right look. He's giving some last minute instructions. You see he changes the play as the receiver widens his split just a little bit to the top of the numbers. And he completes the deep curl for a first down. Now I want you to, is it, I want you to watch though as you, you know, for the ebook, you know, I've gone through and kind of watched his eyes to see the progression and just what I've learned from other plays, but watch his eyes. So Murray gets the snap and he's looking left, I think right off the bat. Okay, looks like his eyes are here. The safety is there. We're getting a jam, so he's going to come off of that. So that, that appears to be his, a vertical route on third down. appears to be his pre-snap read, all right? He comes off of that. I think he's looking for this climb route, which might come open, um, but it does appear that there is a, a linebacker dropping into the window. It would be a tough throw, but he can make it. But then his third look, okay, right there, he sees he's got a cushion. He's got leverage, all right? And so he makes the throw for a first down. So that looks like he went to the third look at his progression. That's pretty impressive. Um, again, Oklahoma in the same, pretty much the same protection. Yeah, I see Murray again changing the play. Don't know who he changed. And he throws it. Now for you line coaches, or if you're interested in pass protection, watch the great job they do here of, of handling this twist from the uh, defensive line. He's really in a two, almost a two eye. So they twist, and he stayed, number 72, stays home with his head in a swivel, and they get it out, no problem for a first down. Great execution. Okay, it's first and 10. Oklahoma is going to bring in an H-back, um, kind of a fullback type, and they're just going to run their, their famous counter play, all right? And I have it drawn up many different ways because sometimes it doesn't work the way they expect, but usually their guard is kicking the end, and their tackle is wrapping, which is a very traditional way to run. They run ta um, counter pretty traditionally. They're so good at these down blocks. These three, the center guard and tackle on this play side are so good at getting these down blocks. And they're NFL type um, linemen. And this is something, you, this is where I, you know, I caution you, you know, you say, well, Oklahoma runs counter so great. You know, I need to run it too. If you have the guys to run counter, that's great. If you have, you know, if you have top of the level linemen or you want to commit to it like they did, then run it. And there's no doubt, but don't just think that, just because you run what we have drawn up here, uh, it's going to be just the best play ever. So uh, let's see how they do running counter. Okay, you see it's first and 10 from the 43. There's the H-back in a kind of a sniffer fullback position. Not really a sniffer, deep for that. Here's counter. It is a read. Let's go back and check that. Murray, as you see, is reading the backside in. The end stays at home. And again, running back talent, okay? Um, running back turns it into a huge play. It's blocked pretty well. He's really got three pullers here, although he's not truly a puller. 
you know, he, he is attacking the strong side. One, two. And actually, now I'll tell you, if he, if he follows this, he might even have a better play. Um, now, he ends up getting 25 yards, but the running backs coach might tell him to follow the back of his lineman who's going to get a great block right there. It would have, but a great cut. And again, don't you wish you had an athletic lineman that could, can just run downfield like number 74, but uh, maybe you do. Okay, they're going to send, they have their Y, who really is a tight end type in this personnel, is going to go in motion. They're going to show a split zone look. The offensive line is going to do a full slide to the right. It's going to appear to be split zone on a play action, but I think they're looking for this H um, on a seam route. All right, he's got three choices. He's got a vertical that my head's cutting off, the seam, and then a curl to the other side. Okay, here comes the motion. Again, watch Murray's eyes. There's the fake. He is looking here first, all right? It looks like he is looking to see if the fake has, um, has got the cornerback at all, which he doesn't. He's got a good cushion and he's got his hips turned. So Murray says, okay, I don't like that. He's already got off of it. Now he's looking for the seam route. Well, the safety didn't bite at all, okay? He could throw it here, but they have this play pretty well defended. So now he's gonna to come to his third look and he, the curl is gonna be the outside. The corner has inside leverage. So this is a good throw. He throws it perhaps a little bit late, maybe a count, but good enough for a first down. And so again, just a right to left across the field read. Again, watch his eyes. Well, actually, let's watch the line first. Okay, you got your full slide. 45 showing a split zone look because they're playing run right now. There's the good fake. So he's already come off, he's already come off the vertical route. Okay, and he's looking for the seam, but he sees the safety. So now he knows to throw it right there completion. Okay, first and 10. This play is just nasty and it's hard to draw it up. So Murray's going to give the ball to the running back right here on what looks like a veer play. Um, but Murray then at, will continue on his path after the handoff and they're going to option. I, I should have drawn a little arrow there. They're going to try an option pitch right here, which had they connected on this pitch, it would have been really nasty. Let's see what happens. So we've got a handoff and looking, to, looking for the running back to lead the option with Murray, the quarterback on the outside linebacker. So Murray making a few checks. He backs up at the last second, which I find interesting. Maybe just to get some more room for his depth. He hands it off right there. Number four has it, but he is looking to pitch. All right, you see that he, he needs to keep it. He, you can tell he's not really used to running the option. He needs to keep it a few more steps and then pitch it. So he pitches it to Murray who drops the ball, ends up being a significant loss. So Oklahoma stops themselves in that case, but a pretty nifty play, pretty um, creative there by Lincoln Riley. Um, you can have fun when you have great players like that. I mean, maybe you can have fun when you don't, when, when you just, um, if, just cause you want to, but again, pretty good play here. Um, this block on, what would concern me running it from my offense was getting this block on from 45 on the defensive end. Now that we do know that if you watch their ends will squeeze right there. So that gives them a good angle to get this block to be sure that he does not stop the running back immediately. And 45 is a great, look at that, look at that great leverage. He takes care of that. So that's a good job. You see the running back is ready to pitch it. If he just kept it himself, he might have walked in. But yeah, he's uncomfortable with it, no doubt. And then there's the fumble. So sometimes you try things and they, sometimes they don't even work for Oklahoma. So that might make you feel, makes me feel better to see trick plays that don't always work out because I've had my share. Now let's talk second down and long. Is it an RPO or is it just a, a play action fake? Let's look and see. And 14. Again, so you watch TV, you know, lots of times we hear that every play is a RPO um, or is it a play fake? I don't really see Murray reading anyone. This is an RPO because he hands it off. And uh, so they run a gap power and they get a pretty good gain on second down and 14, they get a nice seven yard pickup to make third down more manageable. I believe his eyes are on five. I, th I think he's looking to the right with a little two man action over here. Could have been a pre-snap read. You see his eyes, okay. Look like they're going right here, perhaps down the field. Maybe he's reading two who stays back. That's possible as well. And so he knows to hand it off. And Oklahoma runs power really well and they get a nice game. All right, third down. It's important to study what a great coach does on third down. What is his approach? Let's see what, Riley's already had um, one third down conversion on the deep curl. Let's see what happens here. So they're gonna go another formation into the boundary and they're gonna try kind of a smash concept with a post corner from the inside number three receiver and a post running back wheel behind it over here. Now, 
pre-snapping. Look, Kansas State's got the field defended with three defenders against two possible receivers. So you don't like that side. Over here, you've got three on three, maybe even three on two with this backer going to be not really going to be able to defend it. Um, only maybe perhaps this square end. Okay, here's a look. Tr trips right into the boundary, FIB. Formation of the boundary, running back, going to flare to the field. Again, I don't think he likes the post. Again, notice all the defenders over there. Two defenders for the post. Linebacker attached to that. So now he's going to look to the FIB. And again, it's a big mess. All right, this backer did drop significantly at the snap. You've got four. It's like four KSU defenders. Not much to do there. Now, if he stays with it and throws the ball to this pylon, he might have this corner route. And his coaches might have told him that. But he doesn't like any of it. Now, it's so important here to show your quarterbacks that you cannot take a sack in the red zone. Kyler Murray uses his outstanding athletic ability to avoid a sack, but if your quarterback is not this athletic, he maybe just should, should have thrown it into the first row. Murray is running for his life. If he does get sacked, this is a disaster. There's no field goal now. But again, he's a very great athlete and he knows to get rid of the football. So it ends up being a, a fine, smart play based on his athletic ability. So Oklahoma this time has to settle for a field goal. Let's watch it from the end zone. You know, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a pressure situation. The offensive line did a good job. Kansas State chose to play coverage. Okay, see, so he's looking for the corner out. He doesn't like any of it, all right? So he looks to the left, but nothing's going to be there. The protection is fine, okay? Everybody, there's one, def one defender on the ground, three other guys being stood up. But now he's in trouble, and it is a wise thing. Gets some leverage and just throws it towards the receiver, but out of bounds. So that's a pretty good play, again, but your quarterback may not be able to do that. He may need to throw it away much sooner. Sooner. All right, let's go to the next drive. So he gets 10 to zero. Again, the first touchdown was on the previous video I showed. Okay, again, they're gonna get cute. All right, they're gonna take their H and they're gonna motion him out. And they're gonna have a quick screen right here with kind of with a, a really B gap power um, to the weak side. And I, I don't know if Murray has a choice or not. We'll see what he does though. So if you wanna evaluate, is this an RPO? Does he have a choice here? He motions his man out. Now they gap out, all right? So they kind of get, although he's not really, he, he's a possible fourth defender for a, a possible quick screen with two blockers. So I, my guess is that Murray sees that and decides that handing off on the power on power is better, but notice how he does it. I ends it off behind his back and doesn't really work. So nothing wrong with the handoff, it's just they get beat. Again, sometimes, again, even the coolest little plays don't work for Oklahoma. Is it an option play for Murray? He looks out to the right. And I think he's, and once I, once he gets this gapping over action right here, I think he's decided to hand it off. Goes the around the back handoff. Again, there's three Oklahoma blockers here and they let one guy go. I think that's a mistake. I think they, they would have fixed that, but a nice play by number 91, it looks like. All right, here's the last play that we'll show today because this is the last play of this drive. It's gonna be second down and I think 13. The reason why it's going to be the last play, this is going to be a touchdown, all right? Um, they've got an H back in. They're going to do um, play action fake. They've got a slant bubble over here and a stop and go post-ish, skinny post looking on the weak side. Let's see how they score. This is definitely a shot play, all right? You've got a cover four look as you've had most of the game from Kansas State. You probably expect you're not going to get a blitz here, so you have some time for your play fake. There's the fake. You've got a full slide protection, which we'll come back to in a minute. Bubble slant and the safety bites on the bubble. And it's a piece of cake. That's CD Lamb. It doesn't have to be CD Lamb. That could be any receiver who has gotten five yards open. And he's off to the races for an 85 yard touchdown. Just bubble slant. Simple stuff there. It's not anything that you and I don't probably run or bubble post, excuse me. I said bubble slant, bubble post. So let's see the end zone view. Okay, again, the full slide showing an outside zone motion. All right, which gets everybody to flow this way. That also might have. Um, frozen the safety, who then thinks he's reading the bubble on the back side. Not really a, a fake from Murray, but um, the safety is beaten. 20 is going to hear it from his coaches because number two, Lamb, is gone for a touchdown. 
So that's a good look at that's two drives of the Oklahoma offense. Just an idea of how Lincoln Riley does it. Again, I've got the whole first half um, with instructions and how to get it um, in the description below. We'll do more of this. Um, I love doing this. I think it's fun. Um, I'd love to hear your comments about it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'm still trying to build a following and an audience. And I would love just to interact with different um, coaches from across the country and, and other places as well. So come back soon. I look forward to hearing from you.